Hello, my name is Susie and this is Bookbug. What's that Bookbug? Ah yes, now Bookbug is reminding me to tell you at home about the summer reading challenge. It's for older boys and girls aged 4 to 11 and you can find out more at your local library or online at summerreadingchallenge.org.uk. This year's theme is Wild World Heroes and it's all about nature. So today we're going to do a special nature book bug and we're going to have a book and lots of rhymes and songs all about plants and animals and the world around us. I'm very excited. Are you excited, Bookbug? Yes, Bookbug says yes. So, are you ready to join in at home? Shall we sing the hello song? Okay. Hello everyone, hello everyone. Glad that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Aye, 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 I'm glad that you could come. Aye, 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 I'm glad that you could come. And we are very glad that you could come to today's book bug. So now I see book bug. What have you got in your pocket? Big Bug has got a little mouse. Haven't you, Big Bug? Let's take that out, Ali. Okay, so now I think because we have a little mouse, we will do a little tickle called Runaboo Moose. In this one, we're going to start and do it on one hand. And then we're going to do another one as well. So, are you ready to give it a go? All right. Run a bit, run a bit, goes a wee miss. Up a bit, up a bit, and he's wee hoos. <laughs> Big boy's very tickly, so he likes that. Are you tickly too? Right. Shall we do it on the other hand? Okay. Run a bit, run a bit, goes a wee miss. Up a bit, up a bit, and he's wee hoos. <laughs> oh, what's that big bug? <sighs> big bug says let's have it on his tummy button. Okay, shall we do that? Run a bit, run a bit, goes a wee miss. Up a bit, up a bit, and he's wee hiss. <laughs> okay, well, I think we will put Mr. Mouse away, will we? Yes, okay. And... We're going to do another one called Creeping, Creeping Goes the Little Cat. Okay, so now we are going to do this one on the front to start with. Okay, it goes like this. Creeping, Creeping, Creeping Goes the Little Cat. But Bunny with his great big ears hops like that. <laughs> oh, Big Bug says let's do it on his back now. Okay, let's turn over. Right. Ready? Creeping, 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 goes the little cat. But Bunny with his great big ears hops like that. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Well, shall we do a bounce now? Why don't we do horsey, horsey? Yeah? Okay, now, if you have a little bit of head, then you can have them facing you, supporting the head, and just do a gentle bounce. But if you've got an older boy or girl, then they could be facing the way and they could be pretending to hold on to some reins like that. Okay, shall we give it a go? Okay. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Get up, we're homeward bound. <sighs> that was good fun. I do like pretending to be a horse. <sighs> Shall we try it one more time? Okay. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Get the up, we're homeward bound. Okay. Oh, well. Now, what about doing some action songs? I think today I would like to try one that I haven't done with you before. This is called Way Up High in the Apple tree. Okay, so it goes like this. We up high in the apple tree. Two shiny apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell the apples. Mmm, they were Good. Okay, so very simple actions. Do you think you've got them now? Shall we try it again now that we've done it one time? All right. We up high in the apple tree. Two shiny apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell the apples. Mm, they were good. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, I know. Let's do one that we've done a few times before. This is I went to visit a farm. Okay, so we're going to see lots of different animals at the farm. We're going to see a cow which is going to go moo and we're going to see a sheep which is going to go ba and we're going to see a pig which is going to go what do pigs go <gasps> oink okay now i really like making the animal noises but what's even better is if you join in at home and make the animal noises with me do you think you can do that Shall we give it a go? Okay. Right. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a cow across the way. What do you think I heard it say? Moo, moo, moo. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a sheep across the way. What do you think I heard it say? Ba, ba, ba. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a pig across the way. What do you think I heard it say? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> okay, did you make nice loud animal noises at home? Okay, well, you're going to have one more try to do it because we're going to do it again. Okay, are you ready? I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a cow across the way. What do you think I heard it say? Moo, moo, moo. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a sheep across the way. What do you think I heard it say? 
Ba, ba, ba. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a pig across the way. What do you think I heard it say? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> oh, that was great fun. Okay, so now let's do five fat peas, shall we? Yeah, okay. Now, I think, Big Bug, I think I'm going to set you just down here for this one by my side. Okay, here we go. Right, so five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. <laughs> Shall we do it again? Okay. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew, they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Okay. Wow, that was a loud pop, wasn't it? Okay, now. I think for our last action song, I would like to do one called The Waves in the Sea. And this is done to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus. So you're going to know the tune to this one. Okay, now, okay, so are you ready to start? Okay, it goes like this. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, snap, snap all day long. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 all day long. The crabs in the sea go nip, 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 nip. The crabs in the sea go nip, 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 all day long. So, okay, did you get that? Shall we give it another try? Now that we've done it once and you know the words. Okay, let's go. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 all day long. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 all day long. Crabs in the sea go nip, 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 nip. The crabs in the sea go nip, 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 all day long. Okay, that was good. I like that version. Okay, so. Now, oh. Ah, now, yes. Book Bug says that it's time to look in the rain box. Shall we do that? Okay. Oh, here we go. So, now, as you probably know at home by this time, we need to say the magic word to get into the rain box, and the magic word is poop bug. So, 
So I'm going to count to three and Bookbug is going to tap the rhyme box and we are going to shout Bookbug. And if you can join in at home and shout Bookbug with me, then I'm sure we can get it open. Shall we give it a try? Okay. One, two, three, Bookbug! Okay, let's see. Ah, yes! You must have shouted it really loud at home because we've got it open, no problem. Now, yes, and we have got today's book in the rhyme box. I'm just going to get that out. Here we go. Right. Now, oh. today's book is Tidy. And this is written and illustrated by Emily Gravett and it's published by Two Hoots, which is an imprint of Macmillan Children's Books. This is all about Pete the Badger, who likes things to be nice and tidy. Mm, but can we get a bit too tidy sometimes? Shall we open it and find out? Okay. Deep in the forest lived a badger called Pete, who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snapping off any that didn't quite match. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He untangled each knot and each twig and each burr. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks and then bathing them all. He picked up stray strips, he swept and he rubbed. He polished the rocks and he scoured and he scrubbed. So, when a leaf fell, well, Pete tidied up, but still he wasn't happy. Now the trees looked bare and scrappy. And so, to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty feat. He dug up every single tree. But then it rained. There was a flood. And afterwards, a lot of mud. Pete called in the diggers. He called in the mixers. He called in the concrete, the rakers, the fixers. No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees. Perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. This forest is practically perfect, said Pete. I'm hungry, he thought. I deserve a treat. So he hunted around for something to eat. But the beetles and worms that he usually found were under the concrete, deep in the ground. And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner, he'd go straight to bed. But when he arrived and took out his key, there wasn't a door where the door used to be. Later that night, Pete tossed and he turned. His belly was empty. It rumbled and churned. As he lay in his mixer, wide, wide awake, he started to think, I have made a mistake. So, 
The very next morning, when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. Then the animals came from the strong to the weak, and they lent him a paw, or a claw, or a beak. They put everything back as it always had been, but maybe less ordered, and not quite as clean. And Pete? Well, he promised to tidy up less, but if he succeeded, it's anyone's guess. And that was tidy. Wasn't that wonderful? Okay, so I think we will put our book away and we are going to have a song with some Macadon actions. It's going to be Row, Row Your Boat. Okay, now, so, we're going to row our boat, so we need to hold on to our oars, and first of all, we are going to meet a crocodile, and then we're going to meet a polar bear, and finally, we are going to meet a lion and do a great big roar. So you need to help by doing a big loud roar at home. Do you think you can do that? Yeah? Okay, now I think about bug yeah, I'm going to just sit you beside me for this one. Okay, so here we go. Right. Have you got your roars? All right. Roar, roar, roar your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Roar, roar, roar your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Roar, roar, roar your boat gently down the river. And if you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Row, row, row your boat slowly to the shore. And if you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Roar! Okay, did you do a nice big roar there? Let's do it one more time. Got your roars? Okay. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. And if you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Brrr. Row, row, row your boat slowly to the shore. And if you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Roar! Okay, so let's do some quieter songs now. There's a little rhyme called Seashell, okay, and it's very simple, and we've got to hold a shell up to our ear, just like that, okay. Are you ready to try it? Okay. Holding up a seashell tightly to my ear. Shh, it's telling me a secret only I can hear. Shall we have our seashell on our other ear now? Okay. 
holding up a seashell tightly to my ear. Shh, it's telling me a secret only I can hear. Okay, well, I think we've still got something in the rain box. So, I'm just going to get it out, okay? So we have got MC Wincy Spider in the rain box. And so I think we will finish off our session today by doing MC Wincy Spider, will we? You'll know the actions to this one. Are you ready? Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Shall we sing it one last time? Okay. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Okay, well, I am afraid it's time to say goodbye. I know, I can't leave it either. So, usually I do a goodbye song, but today I'm going to do a different thing. I'm going to do a goodbye rhyme. Okay, so, it goes like this. Goodbye, goodbye, we've said lots of rhymes. But now we're tired. Oh, and it's bit bug sleep time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye everyone. Thanks for joining in and making it fun. Bye bye.